Hi everyone, Crystal here with a video. Today I'm going to be sharing some uh, Maggie Holmes sweet story projects that I've been working on. Um, I've been kind of playing with some scraps um, and some little pieces that I have kind of left over from uh, previous projects that I had created. Um, so yeah, I want to share them with you guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, thank you for all the new subscribers that have joined me and um, come on my channel and decided to follow me. I really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, let me share with you the first thing that I created. And I just made a bunch of flowers. Um, I shared this on my Instagram the other day. I was super bored and I'm not currently in any swaps right now. They've all been um, shipped out. The ones that I was a part of or that I did um, have. So yeah, they're no longer in my possession and they were are in transit to their new homes. <laughs> so I didn't have anything to create. So I decided to create some of these really, really pretty flowers. Um, just using some of the scraps that I had. Again, um, and I got this die. Oh, I don't know where I got this die. I might have got it at um, Tuesday morning, maybe. I don't know. It's been in my stash forever. So yeah, this is what it is. It's called uh, Blooms 3 by Spellbinders. And so that's what that is. So I just made a bunch. And then um, some I made with paper centers, paper flower centers. And then some I just did some bling centers. And I love... Um, how both of them came out. So that was the first little share. And then the second one is, um, I made some of these little flag um, embellishments that I've been seeing a ton of people make. Um, I think I first saw April make some, April Oleander. And so I made a bunch of these. Um, but I've used them in projects that I will be sharing with you guys where I put them. So, uh, let me see. So anyways, I made some of these. <laughs> I just layered a bunch of um, strips of paper and then I added some of these uh, little bling uh, bead dangles that I've been creating. And so that's what I made here. I added them to each. Then I just used different um, puffy stickers and different word stickers. And where I put them, for example, I made a bunch of rosettes as well. Um, so I made this rosette here and then I added it to the top of this, which I love how that turned out. Super cute. Um, these I have a mixture of digitals, chipboard, and ephemera pieces. And then the rosette uh, die that I used is this one, is my new favorite rosette die. I just love this die because it has three different shapes. Um, and you don't need a really long um, like strip of paper. You just need maybe like eight inches, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, like eight inches of paper. Um, so yeah, that's a good die to get if you guys want to get that. Um, here's the second rosette that I made. And then I just did like a little sequin cluster here. Then I just printed out some digitals as well. That's from the 6x12 sticker sheet. Some puffies. And here's this one. With the car and the bow. Butterflies. Super cute. And then I made this one here. This one's fairly simple. It's not too, too dimensional. Um, sometimes I just like creating, you know, simpler ones. I didn't realize I used a bunch of swans. Apparently I love swans. I did some stitching to this ephemera piece here and this is um, a digital that I printed out and shrunk the size. So there's that one. And then there's this one here. Oh, and then I also used this Sweet Story um, ephemera pack with a bunch of 
flowers and I got this on scrapbook.com and I love this I mean I have the the digital um for this collection it's just it's always easier when it's already printed for you and I don't have to like do all the measuring so yeah those are some of the rosettes um there that I've done and then I made, I went to town and made a bunch of these. These are huge jumbo paper clips that you can find at um, Tuesday morning. And oh my gosh, I, it comes in a pack of six. And I absolutely love these. I want to go try to find more if I can. Um, so yeah, this, I need to make more with these. And so I made this one here. And this one turned out so cute with and this is how I used um, these little page flag things that I made like I just added them on to add dimension I have a rosette kind of peeking through one of my butterfly acetate pieces there some chipboard um, some ephemera did, did some are digital some are 6 by 12 stickers um, so yeah, that one, and then I did this one here with the little dangle, same thing. This one's with this really pretty giraffe. I love this giraffe. She's so cute. And then a rainbow. And then that piece there. So cute. And then I made this one here says forever and ever with little I think that's a dash hound I think that's what kind of dog that is so cute I think I don't know <laughs> I could be wrong um then I did the flower ephemera butterfly puffy these are some digital cutouts and then this one I added a dangle to the top of this one so it's super cute I plan on using these for like back toppers. I don't know. I might gift them. Who knows? And then so I did three in this shape and then I did three in this shape where it kind of just like it looks like a pocket to me. And so this is this one. It's so cute. I added one of the flowers I made here on top of a cut apart. I mean, a ephemera piece there. And then these are gifted to me by Patty. I decided to use two of those. And then I did another flag embellishment here. This is a chipboard and then an ephemera piece there. So cute. There's that one. And then this one here. This one I used um, one of my little shaker stars. I didn't want to embellish too much because I wanted the, the little shakers to kind of still be visible. Um, so I just layered some chipboard pieces and ephemera piece in the back. And then here, just some butterflies, and then one of my little flag um, embellishments there. Did some little cluster layering there. And that one just says, I heart you. And then this one here, there's this one, super cute. I love it with the hot air balloons and the swan. I put it a bow, added a bow, and then an ephemera piece, and again, um, one of my flag embellishments and then this is the dangle that I added for this one with the heart so cute love how this one turned out as well and then the last project I saw uh, Patty make one of these embellish I mean um, what is this called a gumball machine memory decks card and I was dying when I saw hers. I was like, I want to try making one. So I did. This is a cut file, I believe from the Silhouette Design Store. And I love how it turned out, you guys. It is so cute. I just stitched around the gumball machine. And then I added some of that really pretty pink mylar paper. And then I added this um, really pretty sequin mix. And it just coordinates really well with this uh, sheet of paper that I used. Then down here, I just did a little cluster. This is a ephemera piece that I printed and cut out uh, on my Cricut. This is an ephemera piece and then another flag embellishment with the butterfly. 
and then the back just um, my little tag handmade with tag that Janae made me I love these so cute so I just love it and I think that's it I think I'm I have yeah that's it <laughs> but um yeah thanks for watching guys I hope you like what I created if you have any questions comment down below and I will try to answer them but until then I will see you on my next video talk to you guys later bye